Good morning. My name is Leslie Laprise, and I'm from New Ellington, South Carolina. And this morning I wanted to share a devotion, a reflection on the issue of waiting on the Lord. I've been waiting on the Lord for something in my life for six or seven months now, a promise that He's made, a call to a certain ministry. And yet for all this time He has not opened the doors yet or made the way. And I've struggled with this. I've struggled with understanding why He would set my heart on fire for something and gift me for something and call me to something and, and give me the passion for it and yet not open the door. And as I've struggled to understand this and walk through this journey of these six or seven months, just this morning, preparing for this reflection, I think I've discovered at least part of the answer of why he still asks me to wait. First, I think I still need to be further prepared. It doesn't matter if I think I'm ready. What matters is whether the Lord knows me to be ready. And if he asks me to wait and doesn't open the door yet, then obviously I'm not ready. I need to trust his plan and trust his timing. The other thing is, I realized this morning that if I'm not content in the waiting, then there's still too much self in my motivations. I need him to empty me completely of myself before he opens that door and pulls me through into the ministry he calls me to. So this morning I pray with you, before you as public witness, and also inviting you to join me in this prayer if there are any of, any of you out there who are struggling with waiting for the Lord. My prayer is this. Lord, forgive me for the selfishness within me that clings even to your call on my life. I accept the waiting. I ask you to purify me of myself and any selfish ways. Lord, I ask you to fully prepare me for the ministry that you call me to. I surrender to your ways. I surrender to your will. I surrender to your timing. Forgive me, Lord, for pressing where I should be waiting. Forgive me for grumbling when I should be rejoicing and praising. I love you, Lord. You are my life. You are my everything. And I'll continue to wait.